Hi everyone, Bonnie Crane here. Welcome back to Bonnie Caroline Makes Cards. Today's card features Gracie Alley Design's new release, Family Love, and it is a gorgeous one. This large digital stamp set is all about irises, and there are lots of sentiments. Sentiments that allow you to personalize it for any family member. And friends, can't forget friends. I am watercoloring today using Magello Mission Gold. I'm using a watercolor technique called glazing. Glazing is a process of layering on diluted paint washes, making sure it has dried completely before you add your next wash. My first wash has been created with bright clear violet. As I apply the wash, I am going back and darkening up some areas where the shadows are. Because of this, I am working on petals that do not touch each other, and I am leaving some dry time, although you can't see it in the video. The shadow areas that I'm creating now will help with adding depth to the overall flower when I add the next color wash. My next layer is a wash of permanent rose. In some areas, I wash the entire petal. The larger ones, however, I just put the wash around the edges so there is a nice highlight area in the middle. After my second layer of color is on, I dry it with my heat tool. Before continuing work, I test it by lightly touching it. If it is cool, it is still damp and I need to reapply the heat. Using my zero brush, I'll use undiluted bright clear violet and get into those tiny nooks and crannies and darken it up. I have now completed the first iris and I'll use the very same process completing the second flower. The toughest part in creating the video for me is doing the voiceover. And to make things really tough, I'm feeling pressured to get this done so I have it ready for tomorrow morning. My coonhound puppy has decided that she really needs to play with her squeaky toy. And I think you might have heard it. So as I finish up the second flower, I think I'm just going to put the music on. Because really, I have nothing else to say. It's the same process. Okay, I'm back, and I almost hate to say it, but there's a lull in the pandemonium. Um, but don't be surprised if it starts up again. 
So I painted the leaves with sap green. I painted directly onto the dry paper. I'm using my zero brush and Van Dyke green to apply some shadow in my leaves. Because the sap green is still wet, this allows the Van Dyke green to blend out. So after I have finished putting in some shadow areas in the leaves, then I'm going to go in and do a little pencil work. And it really is just a little pencil work that you're going to see because once again, I wasn't filming as I was working on my card. So I'm going to take some time now and just talk a little bit about the pencil crayons that I used. I really like the Lyra Rembrandt Polycolor Pencils. They're very, very good quality. They're oil-based pencils, so they don't break easily, and the color goes down very well. I loved taking Kathy Rakusen's uh, class on online card classes, the Coloring Challenge Road Trip Online Edition. She offered so many practical tips of which I am using in this card as I work with my pencil crayons to add those final details. I'm deepening the shadow areas. I am adding more definition to the little creases in the petals and smoothing out some of the color. For this work, I used my Lyra Pencil Crayons Pink Matter Lake and Violet. As I prepare to finish up the card, I will take the watercolor panel and adhere it to sheet foam. Sheet foam really helps that watercolor panel to lay flat. And that is glued to green card stock, leaving an eighth inch border. I use a square to mount the panel onto the card base. This tool ensures that both the card base and the panel are perfectly aligned. I finish up the card with June Crystals from Studio Katya. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video.